It did it. Yep. It did it. We did. But I don't know, man. This, this ridge is really hard. You can do it. Come on, Toyota. Come on. You can do it. The spirit of Iron Man Stewart is in it. <laughs> you can do it. Nathan, what's the most challenging off-road test that we do? Cliffhanger 2.0. And what is the most off-road worthy mid-size truck that Toyota builds? The 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. So what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna go up the hill. And that is coming up right now in the fast lane truck. So you know, Nathan, one of my big uh, pet peeves is I just want a button that says, get me out of here. So we're in the uh, Toyota Taco TRD Pro and we've got all kinds of off-road things we can activate. We've got it in four low, we've got the rear differential lock. Yeah, show them this. Yeah. This is crawl control. control. This is the different speeds and you can get into different modes and tell it to crawl. Yeah, let me show them the mode. So you can click here and then um, you've got different modes you can select. There we go, so you got loose rock, you got mogul, you've got rock and dirt, you've got just plain old rock. Let's see what's over here at the end. That's mud and sand. Press the rear diff lock switch. Okay. Rear wheel switch locked. Or at least the button's pushed. Vehicles without the smart key system when the engine is turned on, the lock system is on. Oh, it locked. Nathan, I think it's a little uh, tricky because you have to be patient in this truck, right? With my old Toyota truck, I had to back, go back and forth a few times to make sure that uh, everything unlocked when I was going from four low back to four high. Under the hood, you know what? This is the same engine that's been in all the Toyota Tacomas we've recently tested. It's the 3.5 liters of V6, and it's hooked up to a six-speed automatic transmission. And in this case, it feeds all four wheels. But this has the crawl control system and a locking rear diff. And just as importantly, they're all hooked to these super meaty Kevlar-lined tires. Look at this. We also have the uh, TRD exhaust. Let's hear what it sounds like. Nathan, start her up! Give it the beads! <laughs> All right, that's good. You know, uh, I'm not sure that sounds all that beefy. I think uh, in the Tundra, it's one of the best sounding exhausts out there. In this uh, taco, it's a little bit, uh, well, it's a little bit flatulent. I think it sounds kind of sporty, especially inside the cab when you really are putting your foot down, but I don't think it has that much of an increase on the power. Well, this is uh, certainly sandy and rocky and rough. Yep. Uh, and so far the truck is uh, not complaining one bit. Nope. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty steep, dude. It's working. It's working pretty hard. I really like the fact that the suspension setup on this is so forgiving. I think it's one of the better setups out there. And also this trail, really can't take anything much bigger than this truck. Did, you brought the Raptor up this, didn't you? Yeah, I scratched the side of it. Mm, All right, dare. we're at Truth or Dare, dude. Right, let's go check it out. We haven't been here a while. Let's see how uh, bad it's gotten. Yeah. All right, Nathan. Truth or Dare, black or blue? Dare, the hard one. Once again, we're at such a steep angle, I'm having a hard time putting on my seatbelt because it's locking me out. All right, there we go. All right, so. Uh, drive. Everything is engaged. I'm going to do crawl control. I'm going to keep it at the low. And now the truck is doing everything. So what Roman's doing is basically, think of it as an off-road version of cruise control. He's asking the vehicle to control itself speed-wise while going up the hill. thing is he can control the speed with the knob above his head as he's going so if he wants to go a little faster he controls that knob 
or a little bit slower, he just rotates the other direction. And he doesn't have to do anything else. We're stuck. No, here we go. We figured it out. We figured it out. I thought we were stuck there for a second. We're stuck again. <laughs> now it's figured it out. But it's working really hard. This truck is thinking hard. Hop in, Nathan. In we go. I think people don't understand just how steep this really is. In fact, right now it's so steep, I can't get my seatbelt out, dude. <laughs> I can't. I can't get my seatbelt out. It's locked. It's such a steep angle. <sighs> so we're, we're gonna have to go, we're gonna have to go, I can, I can probably back up a little bit. Yeah, it's not gonna come out. It's locked. But yours, is, is that? yours is locked too. It thinks we're, it thinks we're like straight up, which we are. Oh man. All right, well, let's go up. And inside the truck you have TRD Pro floor mats and of course TRD Pro stitching on these unique seats. And this color cement is brand new and really hip and I know that because my mom hates it. My foot is not on the pedal and now we're getting to the super rocky part. Oh my. It'll do it. No problem. Oh God, look at that. See how it's thinking and it's clicking all around to find the right traction with the right wheel? Yeah. It's a brilliant system. See, I would have lost my patience by now and like started slamming on the accelerator. It's thinking. Turn it hard to the left. Well, you're stuck, dude. I don't want to burn out these tires. Let me back up a little bit and take another, another, another stab at it. Okay. Nathan, you know, there's a kind of a battle going on between Goodyear and BFG, right? These are these Kevlar-lined uh, Goodyear Wranglers, and of course, KO2s are now becoming the standard. The new Raptor has those. Which do you think is better? Well, that's a good question. I think that these are better all around, especially for city driving. I, and I stand by the Kevlar lining. It's a great idea. They're very strong. But if you're going to stay off-road and do a lot of off-roading, maybe the KO2s are better. Yeah, the KO2s are a little bit blockier. They look a little bit beefier. Yeah. Carl's on. I'm going to the next one. Faster. It's got a little bit more momentum this time. Hopefully we can get over it before we got stuck. Oh, yeah, it did it. Yep. It did it. We did. But I don't know, man. This, this bridge is really hard. You can do it. Come on, Toyota. Come on. You can do it. The spirit of Iron Man Stewart is in it. We're just, we're slipping. The problem is the tires aren't biting. So you need a little bit more momentum to get over this. Either right foot or turn this thing up even higher. Uh, I'll turn it up to four. Like we just, we just, give it some right turn on the wheel. I think you make it. That's like it. You need momentum. Just a little bit down. You don't want to get back in that same pit. Crawl control. I'm gonna go full speed. I'm gonna go five. Okay. All right. Here we go. Full speed. Crawl control. That's full. This is the fastest crawl control we'll go. Not quite fast enough. That's underbody protection, man. Yep. This Toyota TRD Pro builds on what is already a very capable off-road rig by adding a black grill, a fake black hood scoop. All right, those are just cosmetic changes, but there are real changes that actually do make this truck more off-road worthy. There is this massive skid plate in the front and more underbody protection. Over here, we've got these rigid industry LEDs, which actually light up about 20 meters in front of the truck at night. They work really well. Here, you've got beefier tires and you've got black wheels. And perhaps most importantly, right here, New Fox shocks that are beefier and bigger. You use your foot? I'm gonna use my foot. I'm gonna use my foot. All right. Well, we're creating. We're creating a god awful mess here. Okay, let me turn it off. 
crawl off. Okay, it's off. All right, here we go. I'm gonna use my foot. Try a slightly different line. You need some fresher. Yeah, pump. it kind of forces you into the groove though. I think that's it, Nathan. I don't want to break this truck. Well, let's let's lock it here, park it here, put the the e-brake on. Yeah, let's go look. And have a look. Yeah. See what's going on. We are so close to getting up over this ledge. You think if I go right more? Yeah, you need to go over here. We're I mean this is a red this is all really soft sand. I mean look how easily you move the rocks just by moving your foot. I mean one more time? One more time. Why don't you do it with me out of the vehicle and I'll try to coach you over it. Alright, yeah, why don't, why don't you show me the path? Alright. I'm gonna use crawl control. All right. Actually, I'm gonna do it by myself. I'm gonna do it by myself. Whatever you want. And you show me where the path is, okay? You spot me. All right. Okay. All right, Nathan's gonna coach me. I'm gonna go uh, out of the grooves here, hopefully. Yeah, more right wheel. More right wheel. You wish you could lock up the front end. Yeah, one Okay, listen. Turn. What? Turn hard left. Drop back about two feet. Okay. Okay, good. Hard right. Bring it. All right, here we go. Momentum. Good. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Okay, nice and easy. Maybe even let the traction system work to get you up this, okay? All right, let me try the traction again. Into the back way. Okay, crawl is engaged. All right, let the truck do it. Yeah, that was it, Nathan. Whew, that was fun. I would have rather driven, but <laughs> it was fun. Wow. Okay. Wow. Well, <laughs> and I got to tell you, the only thing holding you back yeah. was the fact that you couldn't lock up the front end of this. Yeah. If we were in the Wrangler that we used to have yeah. and locked up the front end, this would have been a piece of cake. Yeah, yeah. So I think, that was the issue. I think you need... Uh, and the, it's tires. These tires just didn't have enough bite. You need a little bit more bite and you yeah. need frocking. Frocking. You need a, you need a frocking front end. <laughs> you need a locking front end. Well, why don't you try the crawl control? Sure. Yeah, sure. why don't yeah, you try absolutely. it? Absolutely. You give it a shot. Yeah. So the crawl control doesn't understand when you need extra momentum. So you shut it off, accelerate hard, and then turn it back on. Basically, that works. I still think that for beginners who are having a really tough time off-road, this system is a really good way to negotiate difficult, difficult obstacles. All right, this is a razor bend. We're really high up here, not much air. And you can really hit right here. Check it out. That'll take out the bottom of anything. These rocks to poke up. So Nathan's got to get the right line. I'm going to try to show him how to do it. This is the last major obstacle. There's a rock formation to the left of the truck that raises uh, a couple feet in the air. And um, yeah, we're about to go up it. So away we go. Up. We're going to use crawl control. He's got to stay to the right. There he goes. Put the wheel on top of the bend. Perfect. Nice. Avoid it. Come around. Come around. Perfect line, Nathan. Looking good. If I can get a good bite on that rock. Look at that. That's how you do it, dude. Oh. Steve's just sitting out here. These rocks could flop. Yeah, doing good. This part's not as hard. Some loose rocks, but once you get over the rocks, as long as you're just taking it nice and easy, which crawl control is doing, it really doesn't seem to care very much. Well, Nathan, 
we made it to the top, but I'm gonna say it didn't make it up there. It made it up like 95% of it, and then I had to cut the corner to get to the last part of the trail. Here's the problem, uh, and uh, it's not necessarily the truck's fault. I think the tires are lacking. These tires are all-around tires. These are not full-blown off-road tires. I think the KLs would have been a better choice, more bite, and it needs a front-locking diff. But anyway, we're up here. We made it to the top. Yeah. And as always, this is Roman. And Nathan. Saying thanks for watching, and check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and real-world reviews. And Nathan, let's have them click over there if they want to see the first drive of this with the chief engineer. That's right. And click down there if you guys want to subscribe for more cliffhangers because we'll get as many as we can before the snow comes. Yeah, and that's not going to be very long. <laughs>